We're in the season of Epiphany, about to think about entering Lent. Epiphany is an exciting season coming out of Christmas where we're reminded about Jesus as a baby being revealed to the three wise men, the Magi who came from the East, Zoroastrian priests to worship at the baby's cradle. We remember also in Epiphany how Jesus was baptised by John and then immediately baptised again with the Holy Spirit. We remember how Jesus in the early days of his ministry with his crowd of disciples around him at a wedding when the worst thing happened and the bridegroom ran out of wine, his mother gently nudged him into revealing who he was. He blessed the water, it became wine, the best wine that the steward had ever tasted. But in the other two stories, the Magi who came to worship at the baby Jesus and having first gone to Herod, it resulted in the slaughter of all the baby boys in Bethlehem under the age of two. And Jesus' experience of his baptism with the Holy Spirit was immediately followed by him being driven out into the wilderness. And what that tells us is that our Christian faith sometimes is about mountain and plateau experiences where we feel the love and the grace of God. But all of it is about taking that into the ups and downs of our everyday lives, that we might find Christ in other people, that we might serve Christ in the difficult realities of our lives, that in those God may make known his heavenly glory. As a country, we are facing difficult times and none of us knows what lies ahead. But what we do know is that God, the God who kept his people Israel safe, even through the Holocaust and beyond, who kept his church safe through the centuries will keep us safe and we are called simply not to wave magic wands to make things better but to open the ordinary things of our lives that the Holy Spirit may rush in through the gaps and that in us Christ's glory may be seen by our love for one another and our service of the community.